Okay, here is an update of the body style. I decided to put on my one-fifth scale Johnny 5 motorized track sections. Um, obviously it's the Iron Giant. Found the files uh, for that on Thingiverse. Obviously reworked them heavily, rescaled them, stuff like that. Joined them to the uh, Johnny 5 base. The uh, center base part Again, it's some files that I found on Thingiverse, but uh, they're actually meant for resin printing, which means they're hollow. So I had to solidify them and then carve out areas that I want hollow. I wanted to be able to put the battery pack in here and, and the controller either up in here if I hollow that out, or actually back in here if I hollow that out. And uh, of course, in order to put the um, Iron Giant on there, I had to modify the uh, top of this to have a plate to mount that to. Um, as far as the rear part goes, I had to design my own rudder. The wheels I did find on uh, Thingiverse. I really like the way they turned out. I printed them in TPU, you know, the flexible. They're rather stiff because my TPU, when it gets this thick, gets pretty stiff. But uh, basically, glue the two halves together with super glue because it's TPU run one axle through, threw it on the floor. Let's pick it up. And then uh, run a screw through that rudder, right down onto there, and that way it can actually pivot and roll. What I'm waiting for here, while well, you're not seeing a demo of it moving, so I'm waiting for the control electronics to arrive. I have ordered um, one of the little tank toys that I've used before when I wanted to radio control something because they're so inexpensive and the you know the control boards are about the size of your thumb tip. I ordered one of those for 17 bucks off of uh, Walmart.com. It's not coming from the Walmart store. Walmart.com also sells all their seller stuff. So I'm waiting for that. Meantime I checked Amazon and just started looking for radio control toys that I could you know get for the control board. And I found this uh, radio-controlled shark. You're actually supposed to put it in the pool to go in water. Uh, there were ones that were selling for a whole lot of money, the same toy. And I found one that was selling for like seven bucks and it had really bad reviews. And I went, hmm, for seven bucks, I'll go ahead and buy it. Because my feeling is probably what failed on it is something mechanical or the motor is getting wet or something. All I'm going to do is take the thing apart when it's brand new to get the transmitter and receiver parts out to stuff in here but I'm waiting for that too so we can't run this guy but I wanted to show you some of the mods that I have done to the track parts because I really wanted to experience the floating track like the real John A5 has so if it's running over uh, on level ground like something's here then this track section can crawl up and the other one can stay flat and it can move so um, I don't have a track section here I can show you, I don't think. Let me check. Um, I've got some of the original gray plastic parts that I printed. Let's see if this will show what I'm talking about. I think I can describe what I'm talking about. Anyway, you would have to visualize the uh, wires coming out from the motor that's in here. And where they enter into this piece provided a slot area so that it can travel that a little bit without the wire sitting. But then I started thinking, well, those wires may get pinched between the two and break. So I added um, a small uh, two millimeter hole here and here just on either side of this hole so I can put screws in or nails, glue something in. The point is little posts. So when this is on there, those posts will hit before the wires to limit the travel and uh, keep from breaking the wires. So that's what I've done there. Uh, I did put some uh, LEDs up in the Iron Giant's eyes. And uh, like I say, now I'm just waiting for the stuff to arrive. Oh, as far as the battery pack goes, I am still leaning towards 6 volts, so I was thinking 4 of the uh, AA batteries move these wires out of the way. I put in two magnets in there and the magnet should stick to the battery pack. 
and hold the battery pack in place. Uh, when there's no batteries on it and the thing is on display, I don't want the pack just hanging down. So there is a, a cover piece which would friction fit in there and uh, cover all that up. And uh, there's also this piece with a switch on it from the battery pack which I'm envisioning going up here towards the front and the bottom. It would push all the way up in there so the switch would be on the bottom. The uh, files for this, uh, this center piece that I call the crotch in the body. I will be putting those up on Thingiverse once this whole thing's been tested out. I hollowed out this inside area. That right now this has got a wall. So if I end up needing that room, I'm going to have to go in there with a Dremel on this one and Dremel that out. Because there's a lot of space there. Like I say, if I need to, I could Dremel this out or change the file. But I did change the file already and hollowed the front one out because I think that'll give me enough room to like take you know the excess wire from the motor and loop it up in there on either side and the wire from the LADIs and loop it up in that way. The little circuit board which I say is it's like the size of your thumb tip can sit in there and then that switch cover that I just showed you will glue in place and the battery pack will go back along here. So that's, that's where it's at. It's uh, just waiting. You can see how all of that can tip. This will, uh, it's kind of not, it's, it needs the battery weight, I guess is what I'm trying to say, for this to uh, really contact the ground firmly back here. And it, then it, uh, it will work. Obviously you could screw any kind of body you want in between these two things and not use that pivot tip thing. But I, I really wanted to experiment with that on this small one-fifth scale, my full-size Johnny 5, which I built, you know, back in 2001, works like the real one. So the tracks do, in fact, they're on bearings, can move, and that'd be neat to have it on this toy, too. So there you have it. It's just an update. As soon as the electronics get here, we'll find out what this thing can really do.